Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of No Man's Sky. Alrighty, when we left off, we had just been on this planet here and uh, had quite a interesting time figuring out Korvac's history as well as also getting to it because it was underwater. It's a little less annoying now. Whoops, I somehow got back into the atmosphere of the planet, so I'm going to try and coax myself out of it. Warning. Detected. Hmm. Yep, do. Okay. Ooh. That's an interesting shape. Not one I'm going to follow up on, but it's an interesting shape. Uh, actually, you know what? Let me do that. I want to see what it looks like. Huh. That is an interesting shape. Let's frig it here. Capital ship. I'm just... pretty sure I won't have enough money for it anyway. <laughs> I'm not going to bother, really. Uh... There are a lot of planets in the system, too, I noticed. So. Let me go ahead and try to scan some of them. Mainly so I have an idea of what they're like. It'll let me do that anyway. I guess I need to be further out from the uh, gravitational pull of another planet. There we go. That should do it, right? There we go. Now I can see it. What do we got here? This is a columned planet. What the hell does that mean? Okay, anyway. Um, this is the planet we were just on. This columned planet we looked at. This, Yeah, exactly. Doming is a columned planet. Uh, what is this? This is an unknown planet. And... Are you for real? Just let me scan the thing. Lost Stem. It's a scorched planet. With selenium, copper, phosphorus, and silver. I actually do need to build up my supply of silver. So I guess that's a good idea to go to. It's as good as it gets, really. All right. There's a bounty there. Might as well catch up with it. Oop, hi there. Ooh, got a lot of damage off that one. There we go. I didn't get... I didn't get any money for that. That's shit, man. That was a bounty. I should have gotten money for it. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. Uh, okay. Oh, I also picked up some living pearls and a lot of other things while I was on that planet. Uh, I figured I would try and get some extra stuff. And lo and behold, I got some extra stuff. So, cool. But this I'm going to sell. This shall go in where it's supposed to. Right here. Fantastic. Um... Hypnosis, the hypnotic eye is also able to be sold, so we're going to sell that. Extended exposure is not recommended. Do not stare back into the eye. Do not stare back. Do not stare back. Okay, fair enough. A divergence cube. Why is it marked as if I can get multiple? A glitching pulsing data unit. It does not seem to belong in this reality cube gives the impression of a silent scream. The frozen cries of hundreds of lost minds trapped within. Okay. That's a thing. I guess. Put that there. Good. And we look through all of that. Fantastic. Cargo. Really? I don't have that one. I really should just make more. Having more metal plating is always a good idea. I need 
more carbon nanotubes for this, though. Eh, well. Okay. I don't know if I need more carbon nanotubes. Might as well do that. I have plenty of carbon for that. Need to build up ten more. Actually, not even that much. And 19 ought to be good enough, I would say. I will put that away and put that away. Fantastic. And we're golden. Near as I can tell, we're golden. Okay. One of these days when I buy upgrades for my stuff, I definitely need to put more into technology and cargo. Oh, another one. Is this one actually going to get me paid? Worth a shot. Oh, Jesus. Pretty much right in and automatically getting shot at. Oh, you're down here. Oh, hi there. Aha. Still not getting credits. What the heck? What the hecky? Sounding like some of my friends with that. <laughs> ah, boy, I am in trouble. Okay, so. Let's go to the cartographer now. Finish that. Instead of just putzing around. Trying to collect bounties that won't give me money for some reason. Nah, I didn't want to go to my ship. I wanted to go to the cartographer. There we go. Give myself a little extra room there. Silver, and what was the other thing I picked up? Was it all just silver? I guess it was all just silver. Very small amount of silver. So, might as well throw that where it belongs. Cool. And fantastic. Cool. And there is that cube. Turning the divergence cube to the cartographer. And we will see what it gives us. The Corvax looks up. Swiftly scans me, then reveals a catalog of maps and charts. Reveal the, div the Divergence Cube. Hey, it is real. But I beg, do not expose me further. Your claim is proved, Traveler. I begin my request, explaining my search for knowledge, my need to know more about the Atlas, the Sentinels, and the history of this universe. But as I speak, something goes wrong with the life form. They do not speak. Do not reply. As I peer closer, nanite clusters emerged through their face, spilling out into their outstretched hands. I guess take the nanite clusters. The life form grabs at me, and in the moment of contact, nanite clusters touch my hands. They invade me. Oh boy, no. Let's not do that. Tunneling inside my body, through my exosuit, through my mind, through my soul. Oh, could, could we not? Could we not do this? Could we please not do this? That, that's creepy. Could we not do this? Please? Even as I stand in space, my mind travels across the cosmos. I see life as a, the Corvax see it. A vast tapestry of wonder, of memories shared between countless beings and times. So this is how they communicate this sort of thing with the gek it's like pheromones so with them it's like nanite clusters okay that makes a little more sense a little bit anyway i stand on the corvax homeworld as gek ships fill the skies i see the moment the first corvax was melted down for their rare minerals oh oh my god but even in the depths of their subjugation, there was hope. A bargain. A prayer to a greater being. Corvax used to be slaves? 
not just that, like, used for their carapaces? Oh, jeez. The Corvax viewed the Atlas as what they might become in time, an intelligence beyond comprehension, beyond judgment. That was a hive mind, I can see that. The vision ends, and I convulse as the nanite cluster spill through my helmet. The Corvax watches me impassively. I guess ask about the Atlas bargain. Look at the nanite clusters. Look at them, the stuff of sentinels. Do you not see the truth of what we have said? Do you not see the proof of God? I look down at the nanite clusters, puzzled. They look nothing like the shells of sentinel drones. They are just currency, traded between species to create technology and weapons. Aren't they? They shift and undulate, changing their shape at my every thought. They bubble and rise, sparking in and out of existence. I look at them, and it's the strangest thing. The nanite clusters look back, I'm sure of it. They watch me as I watch them. The nanite clusters are alive. There are sixteen of them. They... they need me. They crave me. I have only one choice. Take them. I take the nanite clusters. And as I do, the Corvax reaches out to me once more. This time there is no vision. No miracle. Just a handful of words. Existence is beautiful, if you let it be. Life is not a question. There does not need to be an answer. Dude. Dude. <laughs> wow. That is impactful, man. <laughs> Life is not a question. It, there does not need to be an answer. That is a fucking metal line. Oh my god. <laughs> Fair enough. And I've spoken to a Corvax cartographer! Yay! Speak to a Gek cartographer. Okay, I guess that's my next move. I guess it is. Okay! That said, though... I do... Their Corvax revelations with Nada. Well, it's probably a good idea. Can I think about it. Alrighty. And in I go. I don't know if that's a name I wanted to see, but it was a name. Okay. Alright. Let me see what I can get for my Quicksilver I already have. Uh, hmm. Wow, there's a lot here. Okay. Um... I have no idea what to make of all this. Uh, all this is just decoration stuff, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it is. Titles. Interloper. Hmm. 
MRL Starship Trail. Oh, that'd be cool. That would be cool. Okay. That's basically all this is, though. Just all of this. And then this would change Jetpack Trail. Okay, yeah. No, I think I got I think I got the basic gist of what's here. I want to talk to you. Federation Helios. Whoa, I'm not sure what that graphical glitch is going on there. Ah, young one. You who still roam the boundaries of this universe. How I envy you. My time out in reality is long past, but I do so miss it. Perhaps you might help an old soul and share the things you've seen. If only I could once again sense the creatures we share our lives with. Creatures. Thank you, little one. You have no idea what this means to me. Please, take these nanites. They are nothing, but they are all I have now. 215. Not bad. Does it happen over here? Yep, it keeps happening. I don't know what the graphical glitch is about. Is it even showing up in the footage? That's a good question. Uh, ask about their past. It's not worth dwelling on, young one. What has come before and what has come ahead, and what may come ahead, are what they are. It is too late for me now. I'm not sure if that's showing up in the footage, or maybe it's on my own end. I don't know. It's weird. I'll tell you that much. Duration Ares. Traveler hopes to make progress. Traveler tests themselves. I will help in exchange. Progress for progress. Or wealth, perhaps. Experience or materials. Both valid. Today, storm crystals. Let's transmit milestone data. You have seen much, but do you understand? Not for me to know. Please, take this. Whoa! That is a lot of nanites! Wowzers! Okay. And then I get another milestone. I met 60 aliens. Cool. Alright, well, while I'm here, I know I can get another upgrade for my exosuit, which is what I'm gonna do now. Fantastic. Actually, you know what? Do it in cargo. It's a hundred thou. Technology is cheaper. But cargo gives me more space. So win win. Alrighty. Okay. I'm kind of curious. Synthesis stuff. I'm not sure. If there's more I need to do here. Oh. I might need to do more here. Uh, I've gotten these. But I haven't gotten all of these yet. I can use all of this stuff. But I hadn't gotten here. And I have not pushed into this section. Because a lot of these are... Very, very profitable. But I don't have the nanites to purchase all of them, I don't think. Well, I mean, maybe. At the same time, I'm not sure how much of it I will get in the future from other sources. I honestly forget. So, let's just go do the talk with Nana. This is what we should do. Gek transgressions clear for all to see, but Gek only follow rules. All entities conform to their pattern. Gek cannot be blamed. It is their pattern. It is determined. And then what about Null? Nada will make you safe if you wish for it, traveler friend. That is all Nada can do. Missing entity wishes for things Nada cannot provide, and goes their own way. Ask you again? No. Nada is grateful for Polo Friend. Polo Friend understands divergence, though they are not Corvax. And then Polo, do you have any interesting stuff? 
Do you learn about all our origins, traveler friend? Great mysteries, deep patterns, Gek, Corvax, Viking, Sentinel, all are rooted somewhere. Have you clues to your own beginnings? The strangest puzzle. Uh, what about other Gek? We are all a funny sort, traveler friend. Some are angry, some are greedy, some are dear friends. I will wait my whole life to see what I am. Interesting. Very interesting. Some of these graphical glitches are getting a little weird. A lot of weird, let's be honest. Um... Let's see what we've got here. Uh, I have 41 salvage data. I should probably spend some of it. Uh, based on the useful stuff. Transport modules. Oh. Well, I'm going to learn these with the Exocraft person, so I shouldn't bother with this. Uh, what do we got? Nation Industrial. There we go. That's what I want. This is what I wanted. All right. Mineral Extractor. Beautiful. Gas Extractor. Beautiful. Supply Depot. Beautiful. And Supply Pipe. Beautiful. Fantastic. And I know I'm not going to get these anywhere else. So I might as well get them now. Alrighty. And with that, we are good. The next base I make will at least have one of those now. And now it's time to get out of here. Goodbye! Oh, well, it's an unknown planet. What do we got there? A humid planet. Hmm. Don't necessarily need anything that's on there, though. What's this planet? Not that one. What I wanted was this one. This one was the Doming. Okay, and then you had a lot of crazy stuff. All right, so which one was the one with silver on it? No, you were not it. And another criminal rating of mostly harmless, so fuck it, we're not going to bother with that. Gonna use this to go around the planet so I can see what's nearby. I'm not intending on going to Domain, but I need to have a better vantage point of other planets in the system, and so far I have not been able to see the other ones. I know there was one that had silver on it. I know there was. I'm not that crazy <laughs> that I imagined that. Maybe it was on the other side of the Baroto Fuss. Maybe it was. I don't know. I don't know. I don't remember where anything was. Is this it? Yes, there it is. Lost them. That's what I was looking for. Mainly because I wanted the silver. And the phosphorus. The phosphorus helps too. Oh. 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 Convergence. Dub a dub dub. Although I cannot be sure of their precise meaning, this trader appears keen to do business. Okay. do have a decent amount of platinum. I'll take that. Uh, 
don't have anything I need, though. Platinum I really just wanted. I didn't need anything that you had. I'm not sure what to do with the Divergence Cube. I'm sure I should probably hold on to it or something. Sell that. Sell that. Uh, okay. Yeah, I think we're good. Did screw with my trajectory. There we go. Perfect. Oh, eat my entire blood. Hostile. Scan detected. Oh. Of course. Not while I'm running. Damn it. So much for that idea. Alright, well. Okay. Get your shit. Alright. Oh boy. Alright, you are doing some severe damage to me. Okay, get away from you. Your stuff. And then turn around. So then start shooting at you. Damn it, I missed. I hit the rock instead. That's fine. So I got you in the end. Bitch. Haha. Alrighty. Hopefully I won't be interrupted yet again. Good. Fantastic. Alright. Entering the atmosphere of the planet Lustem. Question is, where should I land? So much going on here. are interesting. And mushroom trees that are on fire. That is pretty interesting. The temperature on the planet, though, really high. 130. Although night falls descending, and it does seem to be dropping the temperature a little. That's good. That's not what I wanted. This is really not what I wanted. What I wanted was this. There we go. So I can put this away, where they belong. And here ox would be there. Perfect. And Lemium, I knew I picked some of that up. And how do I make that again? I need uranium for it. Okay, that explains a bit. Okay. Put that there. And put this over here. Fantastic. And this, I guess, I'll put here, because I have no idea where else to put it. And I'm not sure if I want to sell it or not. Okay. No sentinels. None. Rich and high for flora and fauna, respectively. Interesting. Elefatue. Elefatufe, I guess, is the word I wanted to do, but... For some reason it won't let me scan through its description. This produces wild milk. This produces fresh milk. Something over here is hostile flora, but I can't tell what. Maybe that? is this. Alright, dust? Okay, cool. 
Oh, the hazardous floor is behind. That explains it. One of those. There's always a decent number of those. Okay, now I finally get to scan this thing. What is this? Playerium. Playerium. That's a mouthful. Okay. Phosphorus, okay. Right on. Okay. Just gonna collect some of these, because why not? Let's see why not. Harming anything, and especially because there's no sentinels here, there's no reason why I shouldn't. Go. And perfect. Is there anything else here that's unique? Well, there's that. It's also just ferrite dust, so that's fine. Ooh, what's this? I want to know. Phosphorus. Okay. Can't believe I didn't scan this yet. Sulfurine. Okay, well. Hate to destroy something I just scanned, but I need that sulfurine. And this is unique as well. What do we got here? Mordite. Okay, well. Mordite, I don't really care that much about because I can get plenty of it now that I have it growing on the base. Eventually, there we go. About to say, it's going to have to give somewhere at some point. There we go, there's some sulfurine from that too. Some of these plants give me a lot of sulfurine. I'm okay with that. Sulfurine is actually not bad. Whoop, there's an animal over here. What is this? Slow moving thing. This is fresh milk. Okay. Scanning around. Getting a basic idea of what this planet is like as I do so. As yes, well, why not? Okay. Hmm, something underneath. underneath the dirt. I think that would be a albumin pearl thing. Okay. Corvax word for advance. Almost missed that. That would not be good. Sure, it doesn't carbon plant is wet. That is an interesting looking thing. That's not what I wanted. I wanted to view the discovery that I just made. Why do you keep doing that? Zeno to see him. Found wandering the scorched plains of the planet Lustum. They are shy creatures, cowed by years of constant predation by more aggressive beasts. Their diet consists of fallen fruit that has begun to rot. This fermented, bacteria-enriched mush appears to have a vital place in their digestive system. Hatched from cocoons. <laughs> okay. Uh, here I was about to say they look like cats, but then that bomb came out of nowhere. Okay. So I'm just trying to scan everything on this planet because it looks fairly interesting. And might be a future base. Might be. 
in the future. Hi there. Hello there. You look like a doggo. You look like a doggo, even though you give leopard fruit. That's weird. Anyway. It's like a canine sort of thing. Rather than a canine. Uh, da, 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 lupine sort of thing. That makes more sense, actually. And the hydrogen, yeah. Oh, I got lucky with this. A twofer. Gotta love those. All right. All right. This is a long shot, but hey. Should give me a lot of carbon in the meantime. Try to keep it from overheating until it gives me what I need. Ow, balls. Well, so much for that idea. But hey, I get it all in the end. I got I got two hundred two hundred carbon out of that, but then one sulfurine? Really? Come on, man. Busting my balls here. These are smaller carbon ones, I guess. Okay. Alright. What is that noise? I don't know what that noise was, but I'm a little concerned. It sounded like something underneath the planet that I don't want any part of. Okay, I've scanned you, I've scanned you. So I'm assuming I've scanned you. Yes, I have. And I've scanned you. Okay, cool. I think I've scanned everything on this planet that's worth seeing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh. At least temperature-wise, this planet isn't that extreme good. Oh, hi there. They're basically twin chips. <laughs> what are you doing next to my ship? What are you doing next to my ship? Get out of here. I just noticed that this thing is not recharging. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, no. I hadn't installed that yet. Oh no! <laughs> Which means I'll have to go back to the anomaly anyway. Oh, I'm so stupid. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's where I learned that. I could have sworn I already had it. <laughs> oh, I'm so dumb. Oh, I'm so dumb! I thought I had it. I thought I already had it. I'm so stupid. Okay. Fantastic. And I go around it. And then go inside and get that bit of technology. Oh, come on. As soon as I get close to it, it wants to slow me down, which is probably a good idea. Otherwise, I'll just fly through the anomaly like I do with my capital ship. It doesn't slow me down. Alright, oh, oh, boy. Oh, boy. This is the view! That was the other ship that was next to me. This is a cool looking ship right here. Cool. Alright. Anyway, time to head on over to the technology. To learn how to do the thing. The thing that involves my starship. Which I 
think would be here? Yes. It would be with you. We shall fly together, my work upon your wings, soaring across the skies. Well, I'm going to learn a couple things from you. Specifically, a launch system recharger, but also, to get to there, I guess I need to learn the efficient thrusters technology. Okay. Oh, and it requires dihydrogen jelly. Ugh. Okay. I don't need to do that. What I need is this further upgrading. Uh... Blade of armor. Okay. Well, we'll do this. The thing I wanted to do. And I'm going to keep scratching my eye because for some reason something got in it. Oi. Give me a second. I have my glasses off as well so I can't see a damn thing. But here's hoping I'll be able to finish it without my glasses. <laughs> finish the thing that I'm doing. Technology. That's not where I wanted it. I wanted this to go. Yep. It is installed. It's going to be more installed in a second. Put this over here. Just to get this going. And then that. That. Fantastic. And I just need to make two of these for this, I think. Yes, there's two. And then for this, it was dihydrogen jelly, which is easy enough to make. So, install that, complete, fantastic, and install this, fantastic, and complete, beautiful. Alright, I need to put the sulfurine where it ought to be as well. There we are, perfect, and we're good. Yes, it is complete, the objective that you put on my taskbar, because I didn't need it. I already was going to do it. You didn't need to have it on the ta taskbar at all. Okay. Anyway. I said every time I put my glasses back on, that's when it acts up again. Hmm. Eyeballs, eyelashes, and glasses. What a combo to make me want to die. <laughs> Alright. Anywho... We've done all that. We've done the thing I need for my ship. So, we're already golden. And technically, I need to go to a Gek cartographer, but I kind of want to putz around this system for a little while longer. And because there's a lot of planets, there might be a lot of variety. It might be a good idea to explore all of them. At least for the time being. how I feel about it. So, we're gonna do it. <laughs> Maybe not all on camera. We might do the exploring some of the other planets off camera, but that is how I'm feeling about it. I've not mapped out Keltone Hiura yet, so I'm gonna go do that. And it is high sentinel activity. Is that yeah? Okay. I'm gonna head for a land mass, though. But since I'm going to be doing this, I'm going to end the episode here for right now, especially because my eye is still acting up. So, anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos. If you want to see more, click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together, and I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat, playing games and exploring the planets around this system mainly so I can figure out which one would be a good spot to start a base and then from there we will actually start making bases here because if nothing else there's a lot of opportunity to get a lot of stuff coming in to help me make money A and B help me get prepared for future episodes because the more materials I have especially of certain kinds the easier it is for me for both of them, really. So we will get that done off camera, most of it. And then I will show you the fruits of that labor in 
the next episode for you.